The farthest spaceship from Earth, Voyager 1, has discovered something terrific outside of our solar system. For those who are unaware, NASA launched the Voyager 1 spacecraft in 1977 with the primary objective of investigating the outer solar system and interstellar space. It has been orbiting the Sun for around 46 years and has returned insightful information that has revolutionized our knowledge of the cosmos. Recently, Voyager 1 made a stunning discovery outside of our solar system, which has the scientific community both intrigued and perplexed. So, let's dive into the details and find out what Voyager 1 has discovered. On September 5, 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1 with the primary goal of exploring the outer solar system. After completing its main task in 1980, it continued on its way into interstellar space, where it is now. It is currently moving at a pace of about 17 kilometers per second and is more than 22.5 billion kilometers distant from Earth. The current location of Voyager 1 is outside of the heliosphere, the area of space influenced by the magnetic field and solar wind of the Sun. The interstellar medium, or the space between stars, is a new area of space that it has reached. Now, coming to the exciting discovery made by Voyager 1. Voyager 1 made a significant finding in 2012 that attracted the interest of both the scientific community and the general public. The spacecraft made history when it left the heliosphere and entered interstellar space after more than 35 years of flight. This finding marked a significant turning point in space exploration and has given us invaluable knowledge about the characteristics of the interstellar medium and the structure of the cosmos. Understanding the heliosphere and how Voyager 1 was able to escape it is necessary before we can comprehend the significance of this discovery. The area of space surrounding the Sun, dominated by the solar wind and magnetic field, is known as the heliosphere. A ring of safety is formed around the solar system by the solar wind, a stream of charged particles that emanate from the Sun. The heliosphere is thought to have a teardrop form and extend beyond Pluto's orbit as a result of the Sun's movement through the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 was launched in order to research the solar system's outer regions. On its way to the heliosphere's outer border, it passed by Jupiter and Saturn. The solar wind's interaction with the interstellar medium causes it to slow down and become turbulent at the termination shock, which it crossed in 2004. Voyager 1 entered the Helios Heath, an area of compressed plasma that lies between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium, after passing through the termination shock. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the outermost limit of the heliosphere, in 2012, as evidenced by a large rise in the density of plasma surrounding it. This boundary is the region where the interstellar medium takes control and the solar wind is no longer able to exert significant pressure against it. A significant step forward in space exploration, the heliopause's finding proved Voyager 1 had left the solar system. We now have a better understanding of the characteristics of the interstellar medium and the structure of the universe thanks to the 2012 discovery of Voyager 1. Scientists have been able to determine the composition, density and temperature of the interstellar medium by examining the data returned by Voyager 1. The interaction between the solar wind and the interstellar medium, which has important ramifications for the creation and development of galaxies, has also been studied by researchers. Also, the finding of Voyager 1 has sparked the development of new missions and technologies as well as new avenues for space research. In order to investigate the interstellar medium and look for evidence of life in other star systems, NASA is currently planning new missions. The Voyager mission has also influenced the development of new technologies, such as the Interstellar Probe, a proposed spacecraft that would cross the heliopause and conduct in-depth research on the interstellar medium. The scientific community was astounded when Voyager 1 recently discovered a faint humming sound emanating from beyond the heliopause in 2021. The sound, which has been compared to a hum or whistle, is a continuous repetitive drone with a frequency of 3 kHz. The Voyager 1 Plasma Wave System Sensor, which measures the electric and magnetic fields in space, was the first to pick up the sound. 
interstellar gas, the thin and rarefied gas that fills the interstellar medium, is thought by scientists to be the source of the sound. The hum is too faint and at a frequency that is too low for human hearing to detect it. The data, however, has been transformed by scientists into an audible sound, which resembles a low-pitched hum. What is the relevance of this revelation, one could ask? What does this hum reveal about the universe and the interstellar medium? First off, the discovery proves that Voyager 1 has actually departed the solar system and is currently travelling in interstellar space. For the first time, a consistent and persistent signal from beyond the heliopause has been found, providing information about the interstellar medium's characteristics. Second, the hum gives us a new tool to investigate the characteristics of the interstellar medium. Scientists can determine the density, temperature and other characteristics of the interstellar gas by measuring the frequency and amplitude of the hum. This will make it easier for us to comprehend how the physical characteristics of interstellar space affect galaxy formation and evolution. Last but not least, the finding of the hum also presents fresh issues and difficulties for the scientific community. For instance, the origin and production of the sound are mysteries to scientists. They are also interested in the origin of the sound's 3 kHz frequency and whether it changes through time. Some scientists postulate that the interstellar hum may be brought on by the interaction of the interstellar medium with other radiation sources, such as cosmic rays, while others propose that it may be the result of the interstellar medium's interaction with the Milky Way's magnetic field. It is also intriguing to consider whether other telescopes or spacecraft can pick up this hum coming from various parts of the interstellar medium. This would aid in our understanding of interstellar gases characteristics and spatial distribution. The discovery of the hum also emphasizes the significance of continuing interstellar space exploration and study. Our knowledge of the solar system and interstellar space has already been fundamentally altered by the data returned by Voyager 1, and there is still so much to learn. Future missions and instruments will definitely shed more light on the universe, and the hum is only one of the many mysteries still to be solved. What is the theory concerning Voyager 1 and aliens? There have been some rumours that Voyager 1, which contains the Golden Record, could one day be found by extraterrestrial life. The Golden Record, which includes a wide variety of sounds and visuals, as well as details about the location of our planet inside the Milky Way galaxy, was created to give a message from Earth that could be perhaps comprehended by other sentient species. Voyager 1 may one day be discovered by extraterrestrial life, but the likelihood of this happening is exceedingly low. It would take tens of thousands of years for Voyager 1 to approach even a few light years away from another star system at its current speed of about 38,000 miles per hour, or 61,000 kilometers per hour, across interstellar space. Furthermore, it is doubtful if aliens would be able to comprehend the message on the Golden Record, even if Voyager 1 were to be found by them. It's likely that the sounds and pictures on the album are meaningless or even incomprehensible to extraterrestrial creatures because they were picked for the record based on their cultural and historical relevance to humans. Notwithstanding these doubts, the Golden Record's presence on Voyager 1 was a potent representation of humanity's yearning to connect with and reach out to other life forms in the universe. Regardless of whether the record is ever found, its message will serve as a reminder of the inventiveness, curiosity and spirit of discovery that characterize our species. It is also important to note that scientists have debated the idea of employing spacecraft to look for extraterrestrial life for many years. Some scientists have even hypothesized that by examining other planets' atmospheres or the chemical makeup of their surfaces, it would be feasible to find evidence of life. Despite the fact that Voyager 1 was not created with the intention of looking for extraterrestrial life, the knowledge it gathered during its passage through the solar system and beyond is extremely useful. For instance, scientists now believe that the icy moon of Europa, of Jupiter, may have a liquid ocean beneath it that could support life. This idea is based on the spacecraft's observations of Europa. Several new spacecraft have been launched in recent years specifically to look for evidence of extraterrestrial life. 
They include the James Webb Space Telescope, which is able to analyze the atmosphere of exoplanets in search of chemical fingerprints that could suggest the presence of life, and the Mars Rover, which is investigating the geology and chemistry of the Martian surface. The possibility of finding other intelligent entities in the universe continues to capture people's imagination, despite the difficulties and uncertainties associated with the hunt for extraterrestrial life. The legacy of Voyager 1 and other trailblazing spacecraft will continue to inspire us to push the boundaries of what we know and what we can do as we continue to explore and learn about our place in the cosmos. The mission of Voyager 1 has been extended numerous times. Due to the success of the spacecraft and the useful data it has produced, Voyager 1's mission has been extended numerous times from its initial four-year design. The mission is presently in its extended mission phase, which will continue until the spacecraft's instruments are no longer able to perform their intended functions. There is a unique position for Voyager 1 in popular culture. As a result of the references to the ship appearing in movies, TV shows and music, Voyager 1 has emerged as a unique cultural symbol. The Voyager spacecraft may be most well known for being seen on the record cover of The Sounds of Earth, a collection of the sounds and images found on the Golden Record. Scientists have gained a better understanding of the Sun and its influence on the surrounding space environment thanks to Voyager 1's trek into the outer solar system. The spacecraft produced insightful information on the solar wind and outer planets' magnetic fields and other solar-related phenomena. The realization of the true size of the universe by Voyager 1 is arguably one of its most important accomplishments. The size of the cosmos and the vast distances between celestial objects are evidenced by the fact that the spacecraft is still sending data back from beyond the limit of the solar system after more than four decades of flight. All things considered, Voyager 1 is a fantastic illustration of human creativity and scientific inquiry. The legacy of Voyager 1 will endure even after its instruments cease to function. For many years to come, the information and revelations it has supplied will help us understand the solar system and the universe and its trailblazing mission will serve as an inspiration to upcoming generations of space explorers. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.